So today's video was supposed to be me playing Call of Duty. But instead, I've decided to make this public because I've told a couple people and I've tried to handle this privately a million times and nothing's coming of it. And to some people, it's going to be like, yeah, it's all right, whatever. You know, not a big deal. But this video is my personal problem with Activision. Activision, I'm talking to you now. Matter of fact, let me, let's get up close and personal, Activision. I'm talking to you now, all right? Couple months back, okay, January, I don't remember. Here, I'll show you some proof. Actually, I got it pulled up for you right here. Let's go back. Boom, look at this. January 7th, I made a PS5 video. I unboxed my PS5, played Call of Duty. Here's the gameplay in the background. I'll skim over it so you know I'm not like making this up this is cold war obviously i can even show you me clicking cold war at the start if i actually showed that part yes i did you see it here called him on a warfare and i go over black ops cold war now here's where the problem is i've recently started playing the game again i had uninstalled the game for a couple months. I, I want to say somewhere around March to somewhere in around June or June. It, it may be a little bit before March, but between then, all right, but the first couple of months of the year and last month, my account was inactive. I wasn't playing the game. I come back to the game last month and my account has been banned. I haven't, keep in mind, the game has been uninstalled off of my PS5 at this point for months. I haven't thought about Call of Duty. I haven't made a video of Call of Duty. I haven't live streamed Call of Duty. I haven't made a tweet about Call of Duty. There's nothing being done in relation to Call of Duty from me personally at all. Why is my account banned? I don't know. I come back, my account is banned. I'm like, okay, let's get this resolved. I message Activision. Activision tells me that because my account is banned, they can do nothing for me. They are not allowed to open tickets for banned accounts or some crap like that. I'm sorry. That was bothering me. There was a little bit of dust there. But they're, they're not allowed to do things for banned accounts. I don't know why. Whatever. Fast forward two, three weeks, and all of a sudden, I'm able to play again. As you can see here, obviously... My game works, okay? I'm I'm playing it. You can see here, this is my PS5 turned on. I'm playing it. This is, it's back. So why was I banned and never received an email or an update as to why I was banned, how long the ban was? Was it a temp, a perm? Was it for language or hacking? Because I don't hack. I have a a stock ps5 not a not a single mod on my controller like i don't know why i was banned then this is where my actual issues begin a couple months back some people may have also participated in this so you'll know what i'm talking about i'm gonna come back to this cam because that game audio might be a little distracting for some people but a couple months back Call of Duty had promotions going on with Mountain Dew Game Fuel and Doritos and Jack's Links. I believe it was just those three things. I purchased so many, way too much at the Walmart that I work at. I purchased tons and tons and tons for double XP and call, calling cards and profile because I wanted all of the stuff. I played Call of Duty heavily. I love the game. And I, I wanted to support something that I love. As an adult, I make my own money, and that was a decision I made. I now don't have these items because my account was banned and was reset. So now I'm missing things that I paid money out of my pocket for. On top of that, right, which if you give me a moment, I might can pull up um, my purchase history and show you like all the time yeah as you can see here january 24th january 14th i'm buying jack's links jack's links those are for promotion codes look you come down even further jack's links jack's links jack's links 
like five of them. Then you go for the game fuel, right? Because game fuel was also in the participation, or not in the participation, in the the promo they had going on. Game fuel. Let's see. I don't know if it. And let's look at that. Let's see how many times I bought that. Game fuel. 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 January thirteenth. All the way to March something, I'm buying game fuel, right? This is, keep in mind, these are the Call of Duty ones that give you bonus. Here I purchased four at one time. So I'm putting money into this, okay? I've, I'm buying promotions. I've bought some of the content that's available in the store. Heck, even after I've got my account back now, as you can see, I've bought more crap. I have the little anime cat girl and the anime angel and angel and devil and the other pack as well and I bought the Grim Reaper on on Cold War. I I put time into this game. I haven't done anything wrong. Now that's just part 2. So here's the third thing that I have an issue with. Activision, I was banned without any warning and now the hours that I put in grinding diamond camos has just went nowhere because all of my camos got reset. I had diamond ARs, diamond submachine guns, diamond, like I was grinding this game. If my streams were saved, I would show you the live streams, but they haven't saved. But I was streaming this game. I was recording videos of this game. I was going ballistics on this game, trying to get diamond this, diamond that, dark matter this. I wanted all of it. And now I'm banned, and it's all gone. And if you think I'm going to take the time to regrind that, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. And this is where it gets me mad, because you're going to say, Nazari, why didn't you just message them and let them know about this? It has to be a mistake, right? Well, if we go to my email, all right, we can go to my email right now. Hold on one second. Just one second. Just one second. This is the email associated with my Activision account, and you're going to see that it is. All right, so if we come to my email here, boom, and we come to my email, which I don't care if you guys look at this email. This is my business email. You can email me here. I don't care, but we can come down a little bit and you'll see Activision player support. He says, hi, this is Dennis's. Da, 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 let me know about the situation. We're sorry about the progress. You've apparently lost in your account, but please don't worry. We'll definitely look into this so that we can get sorted out for you. This was June 17th. It is July 23rd. I have emailed them twice since then and got nothing. He asked for the following information. I gave him the following information. My, my ID, my gamer tag, my email address and the ID recovery case, which I never had one because they wouldn't let me the first time. Keep in mind, let me see if I can't go find this. Keep in mind, I had attempted to get my account back already. Where is this at? Here it is, right here, activation account recovery request. We've detected an active ban or enforcement on your Activision account. Accounts with active bans or enforcement actions will not be reviewed. So, therefore, I tried to get my account back. You told me that you couldn't do it for me because I was banned. But you did not tell me why I was banned. And then when I was unbanned, you asked for information. I gave you the information and never heard from you again. It's been a month and a week from then and I still haven't heard anything. I understood taking an extra week. I understood taking an extra two weeks to respond because of the COVID and the baggage and the lack of workers. But what's going on now? I want my stuff back. I paid money for this. You are stealing from me. You are stealing from me. Because I did nothing wrong. But I, all I did was support and play the game you created. I spent my hard-earned money buying... A, buying this game and then buying items for this game and then buying promo items for this game and then I spent my time grinding diamond camos for this game just for you to take it away not explain why you took it away and then when I go to get it back you don't want to communicate so now a YouTube video has been made and nobody and I get it I'm still a small youtuber so this isn't even gonna get seen but somebody needed to know that y'all y'all fucked me over, Activision. You did me wrong. You really did me wrong. 
I've been waiting a month and a half to hear from somebody. I didn't get an email when I was banned. I didn't get, there wasn't a message in game that popped up. I just couldn't log in. I just kept trying to log in and it wouldn't log me in. And now I'm down money. I'm down actual money. Not just my time. I'm down actual money that I spent my hard earned work, time, patience on. I'm down. And you're not going to even answer my email. You can't answer a single email. After I've provided them, I've provided you what you've asked me for, not once, but twice now. And you haven't replied to either of those. And then I made a ticket for it a third time. And that ticket didn't receive a response. So what, what kind of scam are you running here? What's going on here, Activision? Explain. Because as you can see, as you can see here, I clearly love Call of Duty. I got banned. I'm still grinding. All right. I didn't grind camos because no, I'm not going to do that. But I'm still playing the game. Level 50, level 45. I'm still playing the game. I'm buying things. Like I'm spending my time buying stuff still. Like I have COD points. I'm I'm still playing your game and you still won't give me my crap back. It just it just makes me mad, bro. It just makes me mad. And then people people tell me like it's not that big a deal, you know, just don't play Call of Duty. But Call of Duty's been a game I've played since I was little. It was one of the first video games I played. It was the very first video game I played online. And it's just it's a huge thing for me. I've always loved Call of Duty. And now you're telling me that the same people that make the game that I've always liked are trying to just screw me over for no apparent reason is retarded. It's very stupid. I apologize for my poor wording choices throughout this video, but it is extremely stupid and it is scamming because I have given you money for a thing that you are promising me in return and then you are taking it away without giving me any reason or any justifiable reason or any justification at all. You're just like, well, you had it. Now you don't. And here's your account back. But there's nothing there anymore. I was prestige. I don't even know. Level I don't even know. With diamond skins out the butt. DLCs out the butt. Like, I paid money. Give me my stuff back. I'm sorry I made this video. Because I know a lot of people... We're going to be like, oh, Nazari, it's not that big a deal. You know, I'm sorry. Calm down. You know, play something else. But I'm telling you guys, it's enough to make me want to punch somebody because I put my money into this. And I am i don't really, I don't joke about money. It's a very serious thing for me. You just don't play with money. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't. And that being said... Um, I'm sorry. I love you guys. I am going to record more COD videos for y'all and hopefully with my diamond skins one day, but I'll see y'all boys around, man. I'm going to go email them again, probably, and get no response. Might even, might even add them on Twitter again. Cause I think I've, I've tweeted at them five times now and got nothing. So might do that too. Bye.